Selecting the digit target is one of the most important steps to obtain accurate measurements. The more precisely you define your digit target, the more precise your measurements will be. Once you have loaded a photo into iPhoto Measure, the best way to precisely select the digit target is to first zoom in to the digit target to get a close display. For that, click on the Zoom In icon over here. The red indicator shows that the Zoom In tool is selected. Now you can click successively on the digit target to zoom in, like this. Or to go faster, you can click and drag around the digit target, like this. Here you go. Once it's done, the digit target should take most of your screen. Now you are in the best situation to identify the digit target. For that, you must first select the digit target tool by clicking on the corresponding icon. Again, once this is done, the red indicator is displayed on the DigiTarget icon. Now, what you have to do is to click on the upper left corner of the DigiTarget and drag the mouse to its lower right corner and then release the mouse. Automatically, a list of dimensions is displayed and you must select the correct dimension for the digit target. In that case, it is a 15 by 15 inch digit target. Now your digit target is selected and you are ready to make measurements. But before that, let's spend some time to make sure you understand what not to do. The precision of your selection here is critical to obtain the most accurate measurements. You must make sure that your selection includes all the dark pixels of the black frame of the digit target without extending to the external white border. For example, you should not do this. Make sure to precisely start at the exact corner without overlapping on the white zone of the digit target. For example, don't start outside the black frame or don't start inside the black frame. Start at the exact corner of the black frame. Same thing before releasing the mouse. Don't stop here. And don't stop here. Just stop before the white area of the digit target at the exact corner of the black frame. You can also adjust the selection of the digit target after your first selection by moving the corners. Click and drag each corner to most accurately match the selection square with the digit target. If you move too far from a square shape, the software will display an error message. So make sure that you keep your definition as close as possible to a square. Now, just zoom back by selecting the Zoom Out icon and then by clicking several times on the photo. Or, to go faster, just click on the Fit All icon to visualize the whole photo on your screen. Now that you have defined the digit target, you are ready to make your measurements. For that, watch the corresponding video tutorial. Thank you for using iPhoto Measure.